Hey guys, welcome back. For today, I wanted to show you how to realize this soft pink bronzy look only using drugstore makeup and brushes. Some of the products are great dupes and I can't wait to show you how to get a great result and saving money because we all know makeup can be really expensive. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification bell to know when there is a new video up on my channel. And let's get started. So first, let's prep our face with the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. I love this drugstore primer. It's probably one of the best so far that I know. And it just gives a nice luminous glow to your skin. Then I'm using the Maybelline Eye Studio in charcoal, but it's so funny because I actually think it's an eyeliner. I don't really know. It's, it's been in my drawer for a while, but you know what? It worked really well. So yeah, just using that to do my eyebrows. And we're going for a bold look for today. On top of it, I'm using the Maybelline Brown Precise Fiber Voluminizer in soft brown and I have to say it's a great dupe for MAC Brown Set in Big Isle, if it's not better. It has a little bit of, I think it has a little bit of fiber in it and it has a lot of texture. Your brows, obviously I don't need that much, but it's great and it gives a nice golden undertone to your brows, so really like that product. And yes, they're bold. <laughs> For a foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Elfie Luminous Makeup with SPF 20 and this is the shade W4 Natural Beige. It has vitamin C and E. I really like it. It's just a beautiful foundation, gives a very nice glow, a nice coverage I would say. So I just go with one first layer with my Real Technique sponge. And then I'm going back with a second layer, but not all over again, just wherever I have a little blemish or a little mark I want to hide, I'll cover a little bit more. When there is SPF in a foundation, I'm always a little bit worried for the flashback, but honestly, I took some photos, flash, not flash, and I just saw just a luminous skin. It looks bright, maybe brighter than other foundations, but not white at all. I just love the natural, healthy glow that foundation gives me. I'm taking Wet n Wild Concealer in light medium beige and then light ivory. It's a great concealer. It's a, it's a dupe actually for the Shape Tape concealer from Tarte, I think. It just, the formula is slightly lighter, but very similar. And I love the little bunny on the packaging saying cruelty free. It's a vegan brand. They don't test on animals, so I really like that about that company. I think it's great. And I'm taking my Bourjois Elfi Balance Unifying Powder. First in the shade 53, Beige Claire. And I just set my foundation with it. But because it's a little bit dark, I'm gonna go later under my eyes with the number 52, which is Vanille. And I have to say, it's a great, great dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finishing Powder. It's just as, as good, I think. It's just the difference, honestly, it's just the packaging and the price, of course. It blurs everything. I barely see my pores. And it's just so nice. It doesn't get cakey at all. Look at that. Mm, now time for my physician formula powder bronzer i i don't know how i feel about that bronzer there are days i love it it smells amazing of course even though a little bit strong if you're sensitive to fragrance um and some of the days i don't know why it gets patchy so i don't know maybe it depends on the brush i use to apply it but otherwise it's a great color i really like it it's just yeah but with my Japanese brush, it worked pretty well. Ah, my Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. I love 
that blush. It's one of my favorite, not only drugstore blushes, it's, I use it all the time. It has a beautiful finish. It's a, it's a little bit shiny, but not too much, not as much as the Milani, but I just love the colors. It blends so nicely. I'm using a Luxie 514 blush brush for this one and it just works perfectly. So yeah, I just love that peachy coral undertone for summer. It's, I think it will suit everybody. And yeah, putting it a little bit on my nose, like I saw that on Dizzy Perkins video and she does that and it looks pretty cute. It looks very natural, like you've got some sun on your nose. Now a little bit of fun with the Revolution Vivid Baked Eyelighters. I have the Peach Lights, Golden Lights, Radiant Lights. They're beautiful, beautiful eyelighters. And for today I used first the Radiant Lights. That is probably the one that is the most uh, subtle. It's very nice if you don't want something too blinding, you know, uh, a natural glow um, it's very nice I didn't use it wet at all but look at that look with the lights it's just so pretty and when you think that is 7.5 grams and I paid ten dollars for each it's it's great a little bit on the bridge on my nose cheekbones yeah it's shiny it's very subtle but it's beautiful it doesn't emphasize the texture of my skin at all and then I'm using the golden lights and that one is blinding. This is, if you want to beam, you use that one. <laughs> it's a lot, it's almost too much, but well, I just wanted to show you the potential of those eyeliners because the drugstore eyeliners here in Canada, I find the brand Revolution at London Drugstore. So yeah, put it on my mouth and I love the finish on my mouth with a little bit of a lip balm that I think it's very pretty for summer then I'm taking my NYX perfect filter eyeshadow palette in golden hour but I have also the rustic antique and both are perfect dupes for the modern renaissance palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills it's crazy so the shades have no name so I'm using first this white one under my brow bone I just I can't believe how, how much like these two palettes are just one dupe for that palette, that modern medicine palette. If you guys would like me to do a video um, when I compare both, like on one side I would use the NYX and on the other side the modern medicine, just let me know in the comments down below. So then I'm going with that base shade and use it as a transition shade. So that one is not too pigmented, it's very subtle but you can definitely build up um, with this shadow, which I like. I like that I can work it. Then I'm going with the dark brown. Well, the dark brown of that palette, I would say. And I'm just putting it in my crease and, you know, trying to do a sort of um, cat eye shape with it, elongating my eyes um, on each side. It makes sense. You can see the pigmentation of that one is great. Then I'm taking this nice shiny shade, like it's a light pink pearl shade. And this is, it is very nice. I'm using a dense short bristle brush from BH Cosmetics. Then I'm using my finger on the other side to see the difference. And you can see that it's slightly more pigmented slightly more reflective. Blend it with my brush and then I decide to take my Milani Make It Last setting spray. One of my all-time favorites, honestly. And look at that. It's it's so beaming. Like it reminds me, I think it's the Vermeer, Vermeer shade on the Modern Renaissance palette. So pretty. So I go back with my spray because I love the results. Put in the inner corner, my inner tear dot. It's 
so pretty, I love it. Then I'm taking a smaller brush and I'm going to mix the beige and chocolatey shades together in the lower lash line. Just to create a nice shadow and make it a little bit more sultry. Then I decide to spray that brush again and just to see how it works with the matte shades. And look at that, it's way more pigmented, it's crazy. You could almost, I'm, I'm wondering if you could use that as an eyeliner if you wet your brush because it's very pretty. And I just put it in the outer corner and under my lower lash line again. And do the same thing on the other eye. And I'm taking my Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliner in the shade Baby's Got Black. So cute. Applying it in my waterline. And I'm also going to tap line with it. Then I'm taking my NYX Matte Liquid Liner in black. And guys, this is really hard to use your eyeliner and holding a mirror or a palette at the same time. This is just for you because honestly, otherwise I will just be facing my mirror and pulling my um, eyelid or my skin a little bit so it makes it easier because yeah, it's a little bit tricky but I think I, I, I did pretty good. I, I don't want to do a wing liner today so yeah I think it's very nice very smooth then I curl my lashes with my Shai Zedo eyelash curler so I don't have a drugstore one and then I'm putting on my Maybelline the colossal big shot mascara look at that big brush just apply it again and again and my husband just got home and he's kind of like telling me to hurry because we're gonna go and see Wonder Woman so I'm almost ready okay <laughs> on your lower lashes too just for that nice dull look and to be honest I'm not sure it did a lot for my lashes it's a good mascara but not fantastic want to brighten a little bit with the light ivory wet and wild concealer then I just set everything with my Milani setting spray love it and I could stay like that that was like one look with my lips just with like lip balm and my highlighter on top or you can use a lipstick and for this one I use the mellow lipstick in the shade posh that I got in my May Ipsy bag and it's a beautiful matte lipstick formula is great and I love 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 the color and yeah just apply it and that way it's only the eyes that are popping and yeah that's all that's the finished look I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you want me to do more videos like this please leave me a comment down below and thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!